was a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, they play with a diamond in midfield, which makes the role of the holding midfield player so important. Is he there to dictate the play with his passing or be a defensive screen? I'd hope he could do both jobs. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. Watkins. Here's Danny Ings. Gabriel Martinelli. El Nenny with it. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Bukayo Saka. Elneny with it. That's an exquisite pass from Gabriel Jesus. A tremendous block. Favouring the short one. Elneny. And a throw in forthcoming. Look at Inia. Ramsey. Now can they make something happen? Still passing it around with authority. But just like that, possession changes hands. Gabriel. Tierney. Jacker with it. Arsenal have given it away. an accurate cross well, just seemed to lose control at the vital moment and so a goal kick forthcoming <laughs> 
Saka. It's with Erdogan. Getting in there to take it away. Again, El Nani, Martin Erdogan. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Coutinho, Ramsey, Lucatinho, getting the better of his opponent and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Saka, Bukayo Saka, El Nenny. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Good movement. Oh, he fancies his chances. And using his body to good effect. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Tierney. Now with Jesus. They do pass the ball with authority. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Coutinho. Oh, they've lost it. Then he must take the lead here. And it's Gabriel Jesus. El Nenny with it. Precise ball movement. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And players waiting in the centre. But nicely executed defensively. The first half here comes to an end. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. El Nenny. Now with Jesus. Martinelli. Kieran Tierney. And they keep the ball moving. Granit Xhaka. Bad pass. Ings. And it's a quality pass. Douglas Luis. No possibilities in the centre. Cleared away. Ings. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Ramsey it certainly wasn't a clean tackle and the referee has got to book him I think and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card
And deep into the penalty area, foiling them effectively. Kieran Tierney. Gabriel Martinelli. Tierney. So a half an hour remaining. Jesus. Wonderfully weighted pass. Tierney. Could cross it in here. Martinelli. Teammate available. Might be dangerous. Oh, moving it nicely. Marcinelli. Now what can they do from here? Good defending. Coutinho. Ramsey. Ings. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, not quite accurate enough, but it was a close thing. Substitution for Arsenal. Time for a change then. Number 35, Gabriel Martinelli. To be replaced by number 19, Nicholas Pepper. Gabriel Jesus. Another good tackle. And there's the delivery. Couldn't take advantage of the chance. John McGinn. Well, that is how to play advantage. And still looking for space. Just made sure nothing came of that. Ben White. El Nenny. Martin Odegaard. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Delightful pass. And then he. Very comfortable when in possession. Can they forge ahead? Pepe. Not showing good patience. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Douglas Luiz. Learn to win it back. 
Granit Xhaka. On to Jesus. Xhaka with it. Now with Jesus. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Can he find the net? Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And a substitution in the offing. And deciding to go short with this one. Pepe. Can they get in behind them? Pepe. Well, they have it again. Ollie Watkins. Here's Matty Cash. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And the snuffing out of the cross there. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition and that was the case here. They kept going and they eventually got their reward. So much to admire about the performance put in by Gabriel Jesus. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.